artist, Douglas Pexa here. Welcome to another episode. Today, I just want to talk a little bit about the meaning of art. I am uh, currently on the north shore of Lake Superior, uh, kind of by Tofty Temperance River State Park to be exact, and it is gorgeous out here. I'm on one of the pebble beaches that are famous for the North Shore, and here's what it kind of looks like. Yeah. So, just camping off of the beach, uh, just right up there. It's one of the garden sites, it's pretty amazing. This is what I do on my vacation. I've got uh, some art supplies set up in my chair. But what I also like to do is build things in the Pebble Beach. Uh, to, yesterday I did a couple things uh, at a different beach. I will show you them in a little bit, but I wanted to talk about the meaning of art. So, what I did on this beach this morning, and it's still here, believe it or not, in spite of people walking by and all that good stuff, is environmental art. I basically drew a line in the beach. Not just any kind of line, a stone line. Here, let me show you the end products and uh, let's go kind of see what it looks like. Let's take a look at it from above. That might be fun. So, the significance of a line. of the line. It could be so many things. Oh, look. I just found an agate. Cool. Anyway, I'm going to save that for later. Back to my main point. A line is a line, unless you give it meaning. This line, I could have just set it up to make People wonder what it's here for. The whimsy of the artist it may not mean anything, or it can mean way more than you see. Is it just a whimsy of the artist? Maybe. Could it be more? Definitely. So a line, line on the earth, specifically. You know, could mean a lot of different things. Again, it could be the whimsy of the artist. But, there's always personal interpretation of that line also. If I title this piece, Blue Stone on Pebble Beach, that's what it is. But if I go ahead and title this piece border, as in like international border, county border, city border, whatever, all of a sudden this land becomes much more important and much more political. What's on this side of the line versus what's on that side of the line now has cultural ethnical, religious meaning to some people. It also means security and countless other things. So when you're thinking about doing art, whether it's just putting rocks in a line, 
rocks out of the chaos of the beach because all, these rocks are all scattered. There's yellow, orange, you know, these blue ones. It's kind of red, pink, kind of purple, whatever. They're just, there's just rocks. But you order them. And all of a sudden they put those minis all over the place. So, in short, I don't want to ramble on about meanings here. Again, lots of meanings. Trail, road. All right, see? Now this line becomes something else. If it's road, it's traveling. It could be traveling through time. You know, the creation of it is time itself. You have to gather up the rocks, you have to place it. You know, it's the journey of making. It's also important. Not just, you know, bigger political meanings. And of course, it's fun, something to do. But as artists, or as an artist, doing is almost more important than the meaning. So I hope you learned something about uh, what a name can do to the meaning of art. I know this was a little short primer and didn't really get into uh, much detail on the kind of uh, intricacies of it. It was kind of a whim uh, vlog at that. So uh, I hope you enjoy it. But first I want to show you a couple, a couple other rock pieces that I did. Let's pop them up and uh, you'll see that environmental art is really interesting too. Uh, not just that line thing that I showed already, but uh, but these these little piles of rocks and how beautiful they can be. However, doing environmental art, it has one problem. It's usually not permanent. Um, if you're interested in that, look up uh, Andrew uh, Goldworthy. Yes, Andy Goldworthy. Uh, he's a British artist. He does some really cool things. I'll pop up a couple of his stuff right now, just real quick, so you can kind of get a vibe of them. Uh, but again, the series I just showed you from my personal work, that was a couple hours and it already degenerated. Sometimes it's the act of making the art. But this episode wasn't about environmental art and artists, so I will leave you at that. Uh, I did do some paintings on the beach. Um, I have a little weird setup with my camp chair. Maybe I'll show you that sometime soon. Anywho, check out my Instagram to see those images. Uh, I might talk about them at some point too. I've done a lot of painting up on the North Shore like that. If you did get something from this video, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And, you know, if you want to see more goofy stuff from me, make sure you hit the subscribe button, do all the things if you feel like it. If not, no big deal. Maybe we'll see each other again. And remember, there's no time like the present to do some creation and some art. Also, let me know how you like to title your stuff. I'd be really interested in knowing and seeing some of your art. So comment below, put the link down there, whatever you need to do, and I will be more than happy to look at them. All right, we'll talk to you later.